Uh, I work at a scare farm. Every is that a pun or? Scare farm is probably like a haunted house, but more rural. Got it. Every year where I get to run around and terrify children and adults alike. But every year without fail, there are a couple of people that end up fighting rather than fleeing upon being spooked. So Brothers, dope. How should I prepare myself for these situations? And what types of defense tactics should I employ when dealing with the easily scared common folk? That's from blood curdling and bruised in Branchburg. So awesome. It's so, so awesome. Oh, it's a mummy. A real mummy. I got him. Punch, punch, punch. Oh, shoot. I've, that's right. Oh, no. That was just a 20 year old. Damn it. Do they go see I, Lion King on Broadway and they're like, everybody get the fuck out of here? It's a hyena. Wild animals. <laughs> Fucking I've only been awesome. struck once uh, doing some spooks. Um, and I was doing a haunted house. So I worked with this company that set up haunted houses at people's houses. Um, And they did it for this, like, seven-year-old's birthday that happened to be, like, three days before Halloween. And so it was, like, the same ten kids, and they all came through the party of the haunted house over and over again. And so I was just, like, sitting in a fake electric chair, like, whoa, doing, like, a jump scare. And this little girl just came through. I jumped. She stared at me for, like, five seconds, and then hauled off and smacked me across the face. Whoa. And I instantly turned back into an adult, and I was like, how dare you? And she, like, ran away. It was, uh, and I never did a haunted house ever again after that. I guess it's a good reminder that, like, you're not so tough. You may be, like, Mr. Scare. Oh, I see. Mr. Scare that night, but, like, Mm. people will still fight. People can still fight you, I guess is what I'm saying. So we should be and, and, careful. And you know what? That's also a pretty, like, hopeful message for humanity. Yeah. Of like, yeah, it'll be scary when, like, the army of vampires attacks, but some of us will fight back. Yeah. Listen, some of us will run. And as I'm sure I've discussed on this podcast before, the time I got scared by a werewolf, I did run away. You, and listen, I'm a runner. You, I get it. You have done your part, I think, in keeping these, like, modern-day Spartans keeping their their instincts honed to to a razor's edge. (laughs) So when the real creature for the Black Lagoon shows up, this guy will be ready. He'll have practiced on you, so he'll be ready to save your bacon, and you'll appreciate it. Yeah. That's what you should do is, like, mark them in some way and then have someone outside of the haunted house when they get out who's just like, I see you're a fighter. Come with me, son. I'm going to recruit you to a very special like uh organization you're gonna help me fight monsters but then really you just like i don't know sue them for striking yeah. an employee i want to recruit you to a very special well over here that i'm gonna put you into <laughs> you're a dingus. You know, uh travis makes a great point if you're being struck that is still a crime like <laughs> it's, it's a, uh, crime. a haunted house is still a house and in house you can still do crime you know what i mean like we don't suspend yeah. We don't suspend our, our our laws just because we're trying to LARP a little bit. You know what I mean? Why did you hit that person? Well, he was dressed like a werewolf. Okay, but okay, werewolves but you aren't kn- real. Yeah, so you know that was a guy. So it was a him. guy. Yeah. You hit you hit him. Please follow me to jail. <laughs> this way to jail. Uh, <laughs> Please. I, I want to dress up for Halloween. Walk, walk behind me, honor system. 